It's important to think about how the National Pension Scheme (NPS) is a government-backed retirement scheme for systematic investing. Investors can start at 18 and continue until 75, with options to withdraw 60 percentage at the age of 60. The remaining 40 percentage must be used to purchase an annuity for monthly pensions, offering five types of options. NPS Tier 1 is a long-term investment plan that aims at building a retirement corpus, offering tax benefits to NPS account holders. Withdrawals are restricted until the retirement age of 60, making it a disciplined saving choice with a mix of equity, government bonds, and corporate debt options. Tier 2 does not affect tax benefits but provides greater flexibility in withdrawals and investments. It allows investors to choose investment options in equities and bonds with greater liquidity. Under annuity for life option with ROP that is return of purchase price an NPS account holder gets a monthly income throughout life. After the death of the annuitant the money is paid to the nominee. Under this type of NPS pension an NPS account holder is get a monthly income throughout life but no money is paid to the nominee after the death of the annuitant. Here a monthly income is provided to the account holder and their spouse. On the death of the annuitant annuity is paid to the spouse for life. Under joint life annuity without ROP monthly income is provided to the account holder and to their spouse after their death. Family income with ROP is available for the government sector employees only under this the annuitant gets annuity for life. After the annuitant dies the spouse gets annuity for a lifetime. After the spouse dies the annuity goes to the living dependent mother and father of the deceased annuitant after all this members are covered the annuity ceases and the 100 percentage payment is returned to the surviving children or the legal heirs of the deceased annuitant for more such informative videos follow zee business